Hey y'all, welcome to Racy Crafts. Today I'm going to do another quick birthday card. Um, this is going to be a girly type card. Um, I have a white card base, four and a quarter by five and a half, my usual. Um, the inside of my card is um, four by five and a quarter black. White is three and three quarters by five, standard. Okay, and then I've got a black piece here that is four by five and a quarter. This teal piece is five by three and a quarter. And then I have this layer here. Um, this black piece is three and a half by one and fifteen sixteenths. And the teal one is um, one and three sixteenths by three and a quarter inches. And then I have these small pieces here and they are um, one and a half by two and a quarter for the teal piece and one and three quarters by two and a half for the black piece. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do my stamping first. I'm going to stamp in teal. Um, my sentiment on the inside. These are going to be going to... I should say this is going to be going to the Ronald McDonald house. So I'm leaving it very random, very plain. Um, just because I never know who's going to end up with it or what they're going to want to do. So I'm just leaving, leaving them plain. And I'm using um, the teal blue stays on ink. It is not a perfect match. But I did want to bring some of the tealish color to the inside of the card, so I just went ahead and used that. And then I'm going to grab this tiny little teal piece here, and I'm going to emboss in white because there's a lot of black and teal on my card front. And I just wanted to bring um, the white from the card base back up front a little bit so it doesn't get lost and it doesn't you know then when you open to the middle you've got the big white layer and it's just like whoa where did that come from so I did want to go ahead and bring some of the white back into focus so that's what I'm gonna do so let's go ahead and I'm gonna use my um, embossing buddy here just to get rid of any oil, static, any of that icky stuff that could cause problems for the embossing. I'm going to grab my um, Versamark and my pad is really old and really gross looking but it still works. So I just keep re-inking it. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this happy birthday sentiment in the very center and I'm really sorry I have no idea who made it I think I actually got that one at a garage sale I'm pretty sure it was probably ink a dink -a doo but don't quote me on that and then I'm just using some ultra fine white embossing powder by Ranger and and I keep mine in the Tupperware containers. It works easier that way. And I'm really sorry about how loud this is going to be, but it'll go quick, I promise. There we go. Alright, and I'm going to just let that cool for a minute, and I'm going to go ahead and start putting the rest of my card together because there's lots of layers and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do my inside first. And I'm just layering these pieces up. Oop, I've got one little ick there on the front. All right, let's go ahead and I 
this. And I'm just using my Elmer's glue dot runner. I haven't really had a lot of problems with it, so. If you're looking for a really inexpensive adhesive, check out the Elmer's. They're non-toxic, acid-free, and they're like, the refills for two of them are like $2.50 or something like that. And you can buy them. My Walmart actually carries them, so I don't generally have too much of a problem getting a hold of them, which I like a lot. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to go ahead and put my first layer flat on my card here. Um, the second, this butterfly here, I'm going to put one layer of foam tape under it. I'm just going to line this up over here on the left hand side of my card. All right, and let's go ahead and layer together that embossed piece. Which is my sentiment. And then I'm going to go ahead and do two layers of foam on this piece and all I do is I just cut a bigger piece and just fold it over it's so much easier than cutting two pieces and stacking them together and it makes peeling the uh, backing off t easier too all right and I'm gonna line him up on the right hand side of my card and that is my finished card so thanks for stopping by i'll see y'all next time